Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here and I'm back for another crafty video but this time round I'm going to be making some um, paper flowers. Now the reason for that is these have been um, made for an order and the person that I'm making them for wants seven of each. Um, they already have a sample of each one um, and um, I've made five and I need to make a sixth one of each. So. Um, I thought I'd make the sixth one with you. Okay, so um, we're going to make a daffodil, a lily, and a rose. The order we're going to make it in is we're going to make a rose first, then a daffodil, then a lily, because the lily is more messy because it's hand-painted. Um, so I'm going to make it with you. Um, the the um, template... Um, is an adapted one that I I've used off the Cricut machine, but these are the these are what the um, roses look like, um, and some of them you can see are these two here are coloured, uh, the others um, aren't. Um, but the one we're going to do together, we're going to put a bit of colour on as well. Um, so I'll move those over to one side. Um, these are the lilies. These are all different because they're all hand painted and even if you use the same colours they come out differently so I'll just warn you um, but you know just like in life they're all di they're all different and then these are the daffodils which are more cumbersome obviously because they're just not gonna stay together okay there you go anyway okay so I thought we'd make some of those together so they're, they're I normally make those in giant form um, and when uh, she asked me to make some. I didn't realise I'd be making them so tiny. And with my big sausage fingers, I'm surprised I could do that. So um, I'll just let you know as well, Brian is here. So if you can hear him in the background um, rustling. His name's not Russell. It's just rustling. Um, so these are the ones that I cut. Here's some I cut earlier. Now, when I say they're adapted ones, it, that's because some of the cricket ones, some of the cricket shapes... Um, they don't work for me, they don't work for my fingers, and sometimes they don't even tell you how to make the things, so um, I've kind of adapted them to work for me. Okay, now you'll notice that the only one with a, um, with a, uh, um, leaf on at the moment, so some, I've put some leaves on this one, um, are the roses, and that's because I hadn't cut anything out for the other ones, um, and I couldn't find a shape I liked, so I just made one of my own, which will stick on together in a bit. Okay, so let's just get on with this. So obviously the pink things all go together. They don't go with the yellow. The yellow things all go together, and the white ones get coloured, like, coloured. Coloured? Coloured in. Hand-painted. Um, oh, the, the sticks, the sticks, no, they're not called sticks, do they? These are sticks, though, and we've turned them into stems. All they are are bamboo, um, they're actually skewers, so the bamboo skewers um, that I have coloured in, and all I've done to colour them in, I'm not going to do that because it's quite messy. All I've done is I've taken a, what are they called? You can tell I've been colouring in a, a stem because it's got that, that shape. It, uh, a spe I've just taken a Spectrum Noir, so it's just a, an alcohol marker and that's all all they are and I've just colored them in and I'm not going to go all the way to the end because I'm just going to get my fingers all green but you can see they just color in nicely and they're nice and sturdy to make stems just make sure that they dry well before you start touching your the flowers otherwise you'll get bits of green all over your fingers so okay so let's just make them so um to make the the um petals curl all I do is I use um, a quilling tool so you can see it's got that little I don't know if you can see it can you see it it's got a little slot in it so that's just a, um, a quilling tool that I use um, and I've I've never done quilling but I've always used it for curling flowers so when I make even when I make giant paper flowers I've always used it for curling so um, so that's the single one is the middle one. So that's the one that goes in the middle, the one that's like 
the unfurled petal, just like myself, an unfurled petal. Um, so all I do is I just start, I start making the shapes first, so I start getting them all ready for to go. So uncannily it goes one, then two, three, just hang on, I've got two threes for some reason, um, four, five, and there's two lots of fives. So it's it's one, two, three, four, five, five. And it's not because I can't count. That's just the way it is. So, every time I speak to you guys, I always feel like I'm dehydrated. It's not, <laughs> it's not a hint to Brian or anything, but my coffee's run out. Um, and my water's run out. And my can of pops run out. No, it's not a hint. <laughs> it's not a hint. Um, <laughs> It's just, it just the, it's just the way it is. So all I'm doing is, like I say, I'm just curling these. And it's that's not to make them, they're not gonna stay this shape. It's just to break the um, fibers of the, the paper to make it easier to curl in, to handle, so that they're more moldable. Um, so. so yeah, so it's just curling them all and making them making them conform to my will. Okay, so once I've done that, once I've done that, once I've curled them around, then what I do is I just curl the, ed the edges. So obviously after I was making loads of these, my hands started to ache, or I could only work on this kind of shape. Um, but I, that's why I moved on to a different shape because like my fingers hurt. So all I'm doing is I'm curling them over my finger first and then Oh, Brian's just given me his Coke Zero. Not his last Rolo, but his Coke Zero. <laughs> Apparently I wouldn't be getting his last Rolo. And anybody that didn't know, um, don't, doesn't know that. If you're not, not from the UK, you probably don't know what giving your last Rolo simpl simplifies. It was an advertising campaign a long time ago. Back in the day. Back in the day. In the yeah, the prehistoric times when we come, where we come from. Oh, um, the other thing I've got here is I've got my my trusty glue stick, glue stick, glue gun. Um, no, it's a glow stick, and it's not that either. So, uh, yeah, glue gun. There's a glue gun. There's a glue gun. Yeah. Um, so I've got my glue gun ready because that's what I use to stick them with. Um, you can use wet glue. Um, but for rigidity because they're going to these are going to be at a wedding um i opted for using a glue uh, using a glue gun so well, that's all i'm doing is i'm just shaping all of the petals and i just start i just do that all first then that way then um i can just assemble so not avengers assemble but uh, dave assemble dash of dave assemble Dash of Dave is here again. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -da. Dash of Dave is here again. No. <laughs> I thought it was, it was a good jingle. All right, I'm the only one <laughs> back in the room. <laughs> um, I was listening to um, orchestral, um, not orchestral maneuvers in the dark. That's. <laughs> um, that's a whole different genre. I was listening to orchestral um, music today, and that was I really enjoyed that. Lots of um, film scores, um, but it doesn't tell you what the film score is. It just it just play, and you think I've heard this somewhere. I don't know where I, I, I recognise it from. And Brian was like, "I know this. Is this?" And we have no idea what it's from. It just says what the title of the track's called. Um, so. What I was listening to today, but I did start off before Brian came round. I was listening to Christmas music. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. There you go. That's it. Well, that's not it. I'm not promising you that's it. You know what I'm like for singing. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take the this and roll this. Well, I would have could find it. Come on, get in there. The, the problem with this is the little slot in it has got narrower over time when it's got crushed and it's like pinched together and it needs unpinching 
depinching but some of the time <laughs> another day so yeah so i've been i spent my the, I, you, you probably saw the video and if you haven't seen the video why haven't you seen the video no um <laughs> i spent the weekend with my mum um and it was absolutely gorgeous to see her um love her to bits um I think you can probably tell that from the from the video. <laughs> I love it to bits, um, and I've just spoken to her on the phone because I I just you know gave her a call to see if she was still okay. And she's apparently she's not feeling as chipper today. And that's because I'm not there. Gone yeah, because I've gone home. But she, I've told her I'll see her be again soon. So um, I just need to be able to afford to do something with my car that's the reason why I haven't been able to go down really um the last few months anyway is because my um I I can't do public transport um as most of you know I'm autistic um and public transport is one of those things that really overwhelms me um and I like to be able to drive myself you know I'm a good driver so I know it sounds like I'm bragging but I am a good driver um Brian's nodding as well, so you can't hear him nod, but um, he's apparently nodding. I'm, I'm not telling you he's nodding. I'm, t I'm, I'm, I'm being honest here. He is nodding. Um, like a nodding dog. Yes, like a nodding dog. Um, so yes, I, I just can't. Um, and until my finances are kind of, until I'm free of my ex-husband's debts, um, which is another eighteen months' time, um, money is going to be tight. So. Um, been going on for seven years, so seven years of debt repayment. So, the end is in sight. yeah, like Brian's just said, the end is in sight. The end is nigh. No, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, yeah. So finances have been a little bit sticky, and so repairs on my car. And it's it's not that my car doesn't work. I do still drive it around locally. And that's because if it breaks down here, I'll, I'm fine. But if it breaks down on the motorway down to Coventry, that would be a disaster. Um, I wouldn't be able to cope with that. It'd be too um, overwhelming. So, so I don't drive it that far. And I have access to vehicles. I mean, I drive fleet vehicles, but, you know, I think I'd be asking a bit much to i mean i can borrow the fleet vehicles and i do i borrow vans at the weekend if i'm moving furniture and things but i think i'd be asking too much if, if i borrowed a car for that and because my finances are so bad um i can't afford to rent a car so um but you know one day sometime things will get sorted sometime soon like I say 18 months to go so um I'm sorry I'm just struggling to breathe at the minute which <laughs> it's never a good thing is it um I want to have my watch on to tell me to breathe um yeah so I've uh, it's been nice to go down and see it but I will you know try and get down the reason why I was able to go down at the weekend was because um a friend somebody that brian works with annette um she um offered to take me she's also from coventry and she's got um family down in coventry um so she was going down for the weekend to see her sister and she offered to take me so that was nice that was that was good um so i'm not i'm not a, a great passenger um, but it's better than public transport, so <laughs> where I can't go being a, a, on public transport too much. Um, and it's ironic as well because I need a car for my job, but I need my job to pay for the car. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Things might change. Who knows? The tides nearly and really do need to change. My look over the past, mm, how long has it been? Seven and a half years have been terrible. Um, so 
since the breakup of my marriage, which was also a terrible, uh, although, you know, I was with him for 14 years, so you could maybe say 21 years worth of my life has been <laughs> bad luck. So anyway, moving on, so it'll be Christmas soon, which again is another finance that I can't really afford. Brian keeps going, oh, he's bought this and he's bought this and he's bought this. I can't afford anything at the minute. So um, I do a lot of uh, shopper surveys, um, which give me... So when I'm not here, <laughs> when I'm not doing videos or I'm not... And I'm not doing... Um, not at work, which, you know, I spend about 12 hours a day at work. Um, then every day I will do some kind of a shopper survey to get some points to get... Some vouchers for I don't know, usually ooh, sorry um usually um uh, Amazon vouchers so that I got some vouchers to spend uh for to buy Brian things so for Christmas so because he's a good friend and I, he's the only person I buy for at Christmas I I I buy a few things for my mum but obviously I can collect those over the course of the year because I don't see her um. I'd like, to, I'd love to be able to go down at Christmas, but, um, but she spends it, um, spends Christmas with my other sister, my the eldest sister, which I don't, who I don't get on with, uh, particularly well. Well, I don't know why. We've all, we've always had this kind of like metaphorical wedge between us. I don't know what it, what it's about. Um, well, I, I've recently found out. I think I know what it's about, but. Um, um, it's not for want of trying on my part, but you know, like they say, you uh, can't choose your family, can you? So you can choose your logical family, though, can't you? So um, Armistead Morpin, he was the one that he said that, didn't he? He said about um, you have your biological family, which you can't do anything about. And you have your logical family, and they're all your friends that make up your family, or fam, or family members you're close to, that are part of your family. So, um, so Brian is in my logical family. You guys are in my logical family. You know, your distant cousins. I might not have seen you, but you know, we get on. Um, and I've got a couple of friends that are also Sophie and Marcus are really significant family members to me. Um, uh, good friends, Marcus. I've known I've known Marcus for uh, thirty four years, maybe thirty five years. Uh, what? How? How old am I? Fifty two. I met him when I was eighteen. He was one of the first people I dated. To be fair, um, eighteen. Me, 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 me. Thirty four years. There you go. Uh, just doing a bit. <laughs> Trying to do a bit of maths and curling a flower. Um, see, I can multitask. Oh, it's really hurting my my hand. Just bear with me a minute. I, it's not hurting my hand because I've done this one. It's hurting my hand because I've done <laughs> those five. <laughs> That's why. Um, so, but anyway, it'll be reet. It'll be reet. Um, and I've got yeah, I've got a few other people. Angie. Um, Carpenter, she's somebody I would consider to be a really good friend. She was somebody that was a really good friend before I moved up to from Coventry. But um, of course, you you lose contact with people, don't you, when you're not in the same city. So let's just move those out of the way because then they won't get involved where they shouldn't be. So okay, well, that's what I've done. I've spent some time curling, and as you can see, it kind of they kind of breaks the the edges up, um, and that just kind of gives it a bit more of a natural sort of a appearance. Oh, Brian's just brought me a coffee. Isn't that nice? Um, <laughs> anybody out there that was thinking, just bring Dave a coffee? Yeah, that's what he's responded to you. So this this is the middle flower. So this is the centre flower, the one that's like looks like it's about to unfurl and I just wanted to kind of unfurl it a little a little bit otherwise it's too tightly bound now this one is the only one that I stick with some wet glue and that's simply because you get to try and get hot glue in there it would become a mess um, that we don't want to don't want to go down that route do we 
and also it burned my fingers so but I guess I mean like generally I, I struggle with building relationships as a, a quite a, apparently quite a typical autistic thing anyway to to struggle with relationship building sorry this is I use the these all the time I have a peg a trusty peg to hold things where I can't now the only thing it can't do is it can't hold these so what I will tell you is if you are going to use hot glue the best thing you can do is use a pair of metal tweezers now these are quite they're not pointed they're quite uh, flat but what they do is they give you a good gripping surface so they're about the same sort of size as that well a similar sort of size half the size of that but when you fold it over and you're going to stick that flap to the back of the, the flower the back of the petal when you glue it what i do is i put my i'll i'll do i'll show you without the glue on because it's hard it's hard for me to show you with the glue on because I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way rather than keeping them in the way. What I do is I just press it together like that and the coldness of the metal means that the glue sets much quicker. So it kind of almost instantly sets and that way then um, you're not having to hold, sit and hold it for, for very long. Okay, so what I'll do is we'll shape it after we've glued it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit of glue on this this here okay so it's a little blob there okay you still have to work fairly swiftly with with hot glue I'm gonna get that in there hold that see this is why I couldn't couldn't show you and do it at the same time and put that in there and then I'm just gonna hold it together and as you press it down you can see it's already gone white so as it starts to go opaque you know that that's setting okay and then I'll just give it a, a squeeze okay so that then we just need to open it up. And the thing to open it up with is a pencil that the ends come off. I've always got one of them around here. And just open it up like that. And that just gives it that nice natural shape. Okay. You can fold your petals over and have them however you like. You can re you can reshape it when it's when you've assembled it a bit more. Um okay, so I don't put the, the the curled one in until the end okay and that way then I've got a bit of control I've got somewhere to put my finger while I'm I'm trying to do things if you put that in now you've kind of lost your grip on it you've lo lost your grip on reality okay so then the three one so that's the two so that's the one that's the two and this is the three so the three one we're just going to get ready to to do again so I'm just going to fold this over just to make it easier and then we're gonna we're gonna glue those two bits together so so again tiny bit of glue now this is this glue gun has been on for a, for a little while now so when I press on here you see how it squeezes out then what I do is I get some of that glue and fold it over onto there and just and that kind of just double welds it so the stuff that squeezed out I folded it over and then just squeezed it together with my tweezers and that just extra bonds it okay so that's going to go in there okay but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them all first and then we'll then we'll assemble them um Avengers assemble I can always think Avengers assemble every time I say assemble okay so a bit of glue on there a bit more than that Dave because that's not going to hold anything so glue that put that together like that it's very hot be careful i'm used kind of used to using hot glue gun so i'm all right with it but if you're not used to it you, you need to give yourself time to develop asbestos fingers which is what you'll you'll get after a while you'll be able to pick objects up that are roasting hot other people go ah oh, that's too hot um don't try and get things out of the oven though. You still need oven gloves. Okay, I'll just glued myself to it. Look. And you can feel yourself sticking to it. Okay, if it if you get a little bit on the surface, it does just rub off. If you get it off now, if you wait until it dries completely, you, you'll have a much harder problem. And all I'm doing is, is I'm taking it off the the outer edges. I don't care about the inner bit. You won't see that. The other the next layer will be on top of that. So that one's done and then I'm just going to do the same 
for the, oh no i'm not going to do the same for this one that's your at that's the outer one and you'll see why in a minute so i'll leave that one like that for now okay let's get the the two the two goes into the three but what you don't want to do is you don't want to have it so that all the petals all line up okay so i just make sure it kind of turns so that they're not completely lined up you're going to have ones that one of them will always line up a little bit more than the other um, but try and see there that's perfect they're not completely lined up this one's slightly over from here that one's slightly over from there and that one's in the middle so that's what we just need to do when we're sticking it together so i put I don't, instead of putting the glue inside i put the glue on the base of this one yeah and then we're going to put it in here and we're just going to give ourselves a little bit of time to give it a wiggle try and get it in the right place and then we're just going to hold it now you can't you can't get these in to to squeeze it because you're holding the hole of the base so you just hold on to it and just give it a blow like you would do it if you were eating your your hot dinner now you can i i have used and i did have and i can't find some compressed air if you've got some compressed air you can just give that a blow and that will because it comes out cold that will set it instantly but i do have some but you know what goodness only knows what that is um so so that's those together so then these then go into so that's the what that that's the two and the three so the two and the three go into the four okay so again you're going to glue around the base and then you're going to put that lose your tails it's strands of glue it's like you'll feel like it's halloween so it's like having cobwebs all over the place yeah i can feel that all over me again so i'll just put that into there I'm trying to make sure that they're not too lined up oh, yeah, that'll do like that You'll get some that line up, don't worry about it. As long as they're not all lined up, you're, you're fine. It's nature. Things happen, don't they? So I will make sure that the next one that I put on means that these two, so they don't they won't line up with another one, they'll be in between petals, if you see what I mean. Okay. And there. That in there, I put that in there and make it sing. Don't make it sing, Dave, because it's not a song. Um, it's really hot though, <laughs> so it's making me sing. Okay, so just give that a squeeze, and hopefully it'll <sighs> set nicely. Get all of your little trailing bits away is this what it feels like to have hair because <laughs> i'm glad i don't have any now um okay so that's those okay don't worry you can reshape all your petals once when you're holding it holding them you'll you end up pressing them a bit flat etc okay now I've, I've not done something that i was going to do i was going to color the edges now you should really do the coloring of the edges before you put the thing together but if you haven't you can um go in and do it now i just need to find the color that i was using which i can't remember which one it was no nope, that's purple dave was it hot pink i think it was hot pink this is why these i've got these marks on here it's where i've yeah it was the hot pink one so the best thing to do is all I'm, I'm doing is i'm just touching the edges of it so i'm just giving it that kind of look you don't have to worry about it it just need it can be very organic looking um so thick and thin brush marks doesn't really matter if you think about the the tip of a um a rose the petal edges of the petals of the rose they they're not perfect they're different you see where how i've like gone over the edge there that doesn't matter that's fine and you might think oh no it looks like a mess i'm not sure put it all together don't 
decide until you've put it all together and live with it for a bit because actually you'll probably think oh actually you know what it does look all right it looks quite good actually to be fair just realize i don't have much light so i'm just tipping this there we go might be able to see better now i can definitely see better now whether you can or you can't i'm sorry but it's the light's not just for you it's for me so a light is for me not just for christmas so i'm just going to put a little bit of extra on that one yeah so okay so that's the best way to do it if you've done like i've done and forgotten then that's absolutely fine all you need is a little bit of paper paper you can have paper as well but paper in my case will be <laughs> what i'm using and all i'm going to do is just gonna stick it around so basically so i'm not getting it anywhere other than the petal that i i'm choosing to do it on and i'm not coloring ev in everything else and i'm just going to go around here so you know we all make mistakes it's it's life so it's a metaphor for for families isn't it we all make mistakes but you know you need to forgive and forget so well if you're my family you, you might you might just be able to forgive but you'll never forget <laughs> i'm sure he's like every everybody else's family i'm sure there are other people that have this issue with their family but i get on I, you know i get on really well with um most of my family with my nephews and nieces and um and their partners etc and um even you know my other sisters so um i've got three older sisters um i am the only boy P possibly hence the reason why me and my mum get on so well i am the baby and i i get on with my mummy because she is because i am her only boy me <laughs> don't know why i'd say it like that i'm not from london um it's when i'm up here i mean like i moved up here for my husband well he wasn't my husband at the time but i ended up marrying him um i was with him for 14 years um i moved up here because his job moved up here and um so i moved up and at the time it was only you know 110 miles away and so it was nothing really and like you know i had a car and i could and I had money and I could, you know, do what I needed to do and I could drive down to Coventry and I could see my family and I could go for Christmas because I, I, I had money to be able to buy Christmas presents, etc. But then life happens, doesn't it? And uh, so the end of my marriage meant the end of my financial stability and paying off my ex-husband's business loans and well because they're in my name but you know some people say well why did you take it out in your name because at the time i didn't think i was going to split up with him <laughs> so <laughs> wouldn't have done it if i'd had a crystal ball and knew that although then again if i had a crystal ball i'd have done the lottery numbers to be fair um and then i wouldn't be worrying about anything um but you know things happen so, and that's the way the cookie crumbles the cookie crumbles so it is what it is and we can't do anything about it and i am what i am i am my own special creation <laughs> so i'm not going to stick that one in just yet that's going to be the one in the middle but this one, the reason why I left this open now, this is how this is another thing that I've adapted. I'm just going to get that knobble of glue off the back if I can. No, I've got some of it off. That's fine. So the reason for doing leaving like this is, if I did it like this, then I'd just kind of sit it, I'd sit it between, so the petals sat between. But what I actually do is I glue the stem to this one. No, that's Dave, that's not the one, that's the one I was colouring in. 
So what I do is, pick an end, I put the stem in like this and I glue that to there and then you'll see what I do, what happens in, in a minute. Now this isn't the way, you know, to, to do it. This is my way. You might have a better way, you might have a, you know, but this is, guess what, I did it my way. Now, you know how I used those to help the glue set quicker i just put it on a, a metal ruler and because this is cold this makes this cold which means that the glue goes off a lot quicker because it's hot glue it cools down a lot quicker so i just move it around on the ruler until it's a bit firmer and all i want to do is give it a wiggle if it's twisting on in the glue it's not it's not dry um but if it's if it's having some resist you can see how it's bending the paper then that's that's dry so now what i do is i leave that undone like that and that way then it makes the rows look just a bit fuller so um so i'm going to glue that down like that and all i'm going to do is i'm going to put some glue around here thank goodness for hot glue hey eh? although I've got to say that this hot this hot glue stick isn't the best. I should have bought the, the Bosch own brand one. Um, that one's just a generic glue gun, and it's not. Uh, sorry, glue stick, and it's not brilliant. Okay, so just holding this bit together, and then these bottom bits, depending on how it's lying, I'll just. I'll just put a little bit underneath the petal and glue it to the back of the flower just so that it bonds together and if you can get your cold tweezers in there do so which I can and I did and I have and it's all sorted brilliant okay so that's that like I say you can shape the flower but let's get the middle bit in first I'm covered in like the the thing. I'm covered in the thing. What what is it? You know the. Sorry, just gonna get rid of some of the glue gun, glue stick, glue. Shut up, Dave. <laughs> oh yeah, that needs to go on my merch, doesn't it? Shut up, Dave. Okay, so this is gonna go in there. Now that uh, that for me is too big. So what all I'm gonna do? I'm gonna snip the end off. Get my matching scissors i didn't realize that i, I don't have ones to match those <laughs> but they're not meant to be matching they just happen to be the first pair of scissors i picked up so and then i'm just gonna have a see do i think that that's no i still think that's still a bit tall and snipping another bit off the bottom and you know you're just kind of adjusting as you go Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of glue on the end of here and then try not to burn myself. So I'm going to put that in there. Hold it down. Now, when you're doing this, because you've just put hot glue in there, it's heating all the other glue up. So just be careful about how you hold it. Because it'll... So it'll warm the glue back up again. And I don't know whether you know this, but hot glue will... You can re so if you've put something in the wrong place and you really need to take it out, rather than trying to prise it out, one of the best things to do. So let me just see if I can kind of recreate this. This is kind of a, an impromptu thing here for you, just for you, because I'm like that. Um, I was going to rip that up, but that's actually a piece of work. That's a piece of work. Um, I need. I'm trying to explain to you what I, what what I mean by this. Okay, so I'm just going to glue two pieces of um, cardboard together. Okay, so if you glue those together and you leave it to 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 set, just go over it with the with your cold knife, your cold um, metal ruler, and that should make it set. So. Yeah, so that's now set. Yeah, that's now set. Okay. So if you'd glued two things together that you didn't want to glue together, heat it up with a heat gun. 
can try and get it to heat and you want it to be quite hot because you're trying to get it back to the molten temperature that the glue was if you do that then you'll be able to unstick it so if you've put something in in place instead of trying to peel it apart while it's cold peel it apart when you've heated it up and then it'll just restick when you get that when that goes cold again that will just restick so it's a good tip then the other thing to tell you another good tip is where you see i don't know whether you can see it's got tiny little dots of glue that are visible and at the back here there's wisps of it the wisps of glue okay and if you don't know whether you can see this so let's put this in the background you might, no that's that's white dave that's white you're not going to be able to see something that is white on a white background again like th this is what happens dave you do things impromptu and then like so if you can see these wisps of glue don't know you can so when i heat those up there you go so don't heat the whole thing up the same with the little blobs of glue just give it a bit of a and it gets rid of all of the little bits of glue so you don't see them so it gets rid of all the little tails they just melt away so now you should see the mess that's down by the side of me now so <laughs> no put it this way you shouldn't see the mess that's down the side of me so this is a um leaf that i cut again i did it on a cricket and um it's a leaf shape that i adapted so all it does is it scores down the middle so I'm just folding on that score and then what I do is I just sh kind of shape it by bending the edges of the leaves if you think about how uh, a rose leaf is it's kind of cupped in the middle but it has like flattened off edges at the side at the sides and that's really just basically what I'm trying to create is that kind of that kind of spoon like shape that they have with a flattened edge I don't know what a flat a spoon with a flattened edge is it's not a spoon um a shovel oh, i don't know anyway shut up dave so, why is it i feel really hot now because <laughs> i'm talking to you guys and i'm using hot glue gun and a hot um a hot air gun okay well, a hot air gun that's basically me talking hot air um so so you can put it like this or you can what i what i actually tend to do is i just snip that one out in the middle Okay, I'll stick those two on somewhere like that, and then I'll see if I need the th the, the third one. Okay, I'm just going to put a bit of glue down the, the back of here and stick that to the back of the rose. And again, just hold on to it because it's hot glue and I can't get my tweezers in there, so I'm just going to hold it. <sighs> Give it a blow. There's bits of trailing bits of glue again okay stick that on there okay do i want that is that going to be too much if i had it where would i have it no it's going to be too much so i'm going to leave it as that um and then all i'm going to do is i'm going to use instead of hot glue gun i'm going to just use a bit of three in one you don't have to do this you could use your, your hot glue it's just that i know the full well that if i try and use my hot glue i'm going to burn myself so although i have asbestos fingers they're not that asbestosy, and then all I'm going to do now is use my peg just to hold that there until that's glued nicely. Okay, so we have basically made our rose. Okay, so that's the fifth rose. No, the sixth rose I've made today, um, and the seventh rose is already in the person's hands. Um, so it's, it's for somebody's wedding I've been doing this. So somebody that Brian works with, she asked me if I'd make them. So, And I said I would, and I did, and I have. It's done. So, okay, so um, just I will, 
I will now move on to right instead of make we're not going to make the lily just yet we're going to make the daffodil so daffodil okay the daffodil comprises of two lots of three petals a little thing for the middle stamens i think they're called stamens don't i'm not a gardener well i used to be i'm not well not professionally I used to have a garden to pr garden with and then this i don't know trumpet in the middle yeah trumpet um i'm calling it a trumpet anyway so this one i forgot to um leave flat because <laughs> i forgot i was doing gonna do this um so it, that's why it's a little bit curled so i'll show you what i what i did so you can kind of start you can st kind of see the reason i do this is if you look at the inner part of a of a daffodil the trumpet bit it's kind of concertina it looks like somebody's concertina it up and then unfurled it and and turned it into a trumpet so all i'm going to do i'm going to hold on to it uh, like this with my tweezers and then i'm going to start doing this take my tweezers out and then just keep going and i'm going to use these the um the scalloped edge to form that kind of squared trumpet sort of shape so i want where where as with the other petals i was trying to get this crease out and have it to kind of more um smooth without any lines on it this i want it to have those lines on because the lines are the things that kind of give it that that um what's the i was gonna say castellated but it's not castellated um that kind of i don't know crinkly look it's cr we'll call it crinkly I don't, I don't know um this this is what how the big lip it's a big massive lip it's like you've just told it it can't have ice cream lip type lip oh i've got ice cream in the freezer um <laughs> this is i don't i, I it's lactose free ice cream don't worry it's too big for me so i just cut it off i like obviously if it's attached to somebody if it's a big lip because they can't have ice cream don't cut it off okay and then i'm just going to put a little crease in that so that it it folds in nicely now this time where i was i was gluing all the others on the outside this time i'm gluing that on the inside and what you need to do is you need to make sure that the two bottom this these two edges this one here and this one here line up when it goes together so i'm going to put a little bit of glue on the outside of this one this time a bead of glue down that we've established that we're still calling it a bead even though it's a long bit and then i'm going to put my my trusty tongs there just try and wipe my finger up that edge so that they get rid of those bits and just put that together and then that should hold it nicely yeah cool so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to fold these over at the end just to give it a bit more of a bit more of a de bit more definition really is all i'm doing okay okay so that hasn't lined that so that's lined up at the bottom but these two bits should be meeting and it hasn't so i'm going to do what i've just told you how to do now let's just hold on to it first dave i'm just going to heat it up so you can prove i can i'm proving that it this technique works when you see it, it'll start to slide and you'll know then that that's hot enough okay so then i can just readjust where that go that's going make sure that that's lined up at the top as well as at the bottom use that oh, just, I've just glued myself to the inside of it <laughs> and use the tongs to make it set okay any bits on the outside just take them off before it completely sets it's all right it's it's cool enough now it'll only just be warm to the touch it won't be hot okay don't worry about the blob of glue in the middle you won't see that shortly so that's that bit these two bits here these are the flaps for it so <laughs> flaps <laughs> um so we'll we'll glue that down in a minute okay but so you have an inner and an outer so Let's get, get one here. Okay, so the outer one, 
um, I just curl and the inner one I shape okay so I'll show you that now what I did so again this is a slight adaptation I'm so warm <laughs> um, although it sounds like I'm about to commit some atrocity against mankind <laughs> so what I do is to the tip and guess where the middle is of my petal and I just put a score line in there okay do the same turn it round to the tip guess where the middle is put a score line oh sorry about the squeak um, and then turn it round and do the same on the last petal okay whilst also trying to move your hot glue your hot, hot your hot glue no hot gun out of the way not top gun hot gun um top cat somebody mentioned top cat top cat the most disputable leader of the pack he's the one he's the fit he's the championship he's the most tip top the loop. top cat okay so <laughs> No, it wasn't even top cat either. Um, so I've just put a line in there. I'm just going to put fold that crease up. Yeah, do that on the same. That one's slightly wonky. Not not worried about it. It's organic. It's natural. It's a flower. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same as I did with the the uh, rose leaves. I'm just going to flatten, bend that out, and flatten it. So again, it kind of forms that kind of flat spoon shape Dave but I'm sure it, it's probably got a name you know you're probably screaming at the, at the screen right now but I can't hear you so I'm carrying on carrying on without you carry on I haven't seen a carry on for years although they're not particularly correct particularly political correct these days so possibly the reason why you don't see carry on movies anymore um, okay, so I've just made that kind of shape and then I'm just going to glue it. I'm going to use that same tab. I'm going to glue it the way that we did with all the others. So put a bit glue on there. Put them together. It gets a bit fiddly, but, you know, get your fingers in there. Give it a squeeze. Fold that bit over just to give it an extra lock in. There we go. So that's that bit. And then the back one, like I say, all I do is I just give it a, a shape. So I'm just curling it on over my finger. You don't have to, it's not, it doesn't have to be fully curled. It's not like curling ribbon or anything like that. You're just curling it over your finger. Curling over your finger. Yeah. And then again, you're going to put those, that glue that bit together. So again, on the tab. So I always just scrape the petal across that way and that way then I'm not pushing hot glue into my my visible area although this one's on the back so it wouldn't be a visible area but I just get in the habit of doing that again just fold that glue over there and just glue it together and that really does work having a, a pair of you think that these would heat up and therefore it, it deplete the object but it doesn't it cools the glue down they don't they get warm they just don't heat up and then they get cooler get cooler again when you put them down um so that one's going to go at the back and that one's going to go at the front okay it's got a little bit too much glue visible for me here okay and it's i've left it too long for me to get it off so guess what i'm going to do i'm going to heat it up now i only want to heat it enough to be able to heat the surface i don't want to heat the full weld and I want to just see if I can kind of cut that out a bit. Yep. This is an old cricket tool. And, you know, I got it when I had a, I had a cricket mini a long time ago. I've got a, we've, we've all upgraded since then several times, haven't we? So. Now that is not lined up because I've obviously heated it too much. So I'll heat it again. Be careful if you're doing this because obviously this the you don't want to get your fingers hot. These tools, somebody asked me once if this was like a hair dryer. No, you wouldn't want to dry your hair with that because that is it gets way too hot for to 
be anywhere near flesh or hair or skin or bone or people or animals. So I'm just just realigning that one. I'm happier now with that. That's only to be used on heating things. It's you know good for crafty stuff, but nothing else. So there we go. Okay, so you obviously don't want to line them up. You kind of want to have them staggered. Okay, and I have the shaped one on the outside. Okay, but before I do that, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to glue in my stem. So I'm going to take one of my take a stem. Okay. I, the only reason why I'm looking at it is one end is coloured, well, I've coloured the bottom of it and the other isn't, so that's the bit that you'll be able to see and this bit will, will be hidden inside the flower and you'll never know it was there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a blob of glue on that little seam there and I'm going to put this stem through the middle and I'm just going to lie it flat against there and pop that on my metal ruler to cool it down. it sticks nicely there we go yeah there we go that's stuck in that's good and then get rid of that tail that we've got it's a tail of old a, a tail as old as time okay so this is going to go into here okay but now we've got that stem because they these sit perfectly into each other and it's got that stem in there what i'm going to do is i'm just going to line the holes up together yeah and then i'm just going to shape that top petal around that that stem just by putting my nail either side of it so that it kind of has a little lock you see i've made an indentation and that way then it'll sit nicely over that that stem without it pushing it out too far You'll see what I mean in a minute when I put these back together again. So they sit much nicer together now. There you go. And you're not going to see that when you put the trumpet in. Okay, so the next bit is to put the trumpet in. We're going to just fold those those flaps in. You don't want to fold them out because you'll see them. So they get folded in. I'm just going to put a bit of glue on there. And I try not to have all of the the welded bits lined up but I do try to have them at the bottom if you have them lined up it draws your eye to them whereas if you just if you have them all at the bottom but not necessarily lined up you, you don't necessarily see them okay so I'm, I'm again I can't put tweezers I haven't got any cold things to put in there I'm pressing it down I'm not pressing my thumb my finger against the hot glue though I'm just holding it away from it but give it applying some pressure so I'm holding on to the edge of the trumpet and pushing down. Okay, so there we go. That's in there now. Okay, so yep, yeah, that's in there. And now it's this bit. Okay, so this is just twisted on itself. Okay, so you just curl it all the way around so you make it completely bound up. And then you unfurl it. Okay, and you're going to stick these two tabs together. So you've got a tab here and a tab here. And again, this is another one that I don't use hot glue on. And simply again, because it's just very tight. And you don't want to get your fingers burnt. So I'll put a little bit of wet glue on there. Then I overlay those like that. And I use my tweezers. Kind of hold it together, wipe away any excess, and just give and hold that. Hold it until it kind of sets. Now you can tell that this one is the daffodil one, okay, because they're all the same height. The one for the lily has one that's slightly taller, so that's how I know I've got the right one. And also because I've made well, I used to make the giant versions of these. Like, literally, I'd make giant ones like this, or really big ones like this. Like that. You can't see that, can you? <laughs> like this. Um, or even bigger, or however big, however, as big as the biggest piece of paper I could get. 
um, I use, and I used to freehand cut, and I know it's terrible, isn't it? Because I used to freehand cut, and I don't freehand cut anymore. The only thing I'm not happy with that is that if you look at that, that's slightly wonky. The trumpet's looking down. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to heat it up. And I'm going to move it. It's so useful having this, having a... Ooh, don't move that, Dave, because that's the two bits coming off. Okay. That I, was, I was moving the trumpet and the trumpet was coming apart. Okay. I'm just going to soften that glue up there so I can re-stick it. Just try not to melt all of it. Okay. And I might need a little bit more because the, the this is the trumpet's not going to go back in the same place. Well, hopefully it won't because that's the reason why I moved it in the first place. So I want to make it I don't know, 90 degrees to the petals, but not 90 degrees to that. And that's where the problem was, because I've got it got it 90 degrees to the stem, and that was in the wrong place. So I've been making these for nine hours now. <laughs> um... Right, so I'm just going to stick this bit in. Again, this is another one you can't do anything with a, a metal tool, so you're just going to have to hold on to the tips together and push it in and push it down. But don't push too hard because you'll crumple the, the stamen. It can move, move, move any mountain. That's, oh, that's the shaman, not the stamen. Um, sorry, that was a band from my youth my misspent youth. And then all I'm going to do, I'm just going to put my finger down the middle of them to kind of splay them out a bit. And there we go. So that's our um, daffodil. Okay, so we've made the daffodil. So now we get to do the exciting bits because we're coming up to doing the lily and it has its own theme tune because of it. Okay, the reason why it gets exciting is because we're going we're gonna to get a bit messy. It's going to get a bit messy. So, first of all, I'm just going to switch my glue gun off for a minute. Um, because I don't need it just now. Um, and I don't want it to kind of overheat or, you know, use, burn lots of fossil fuel. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to curl this. So, unlike the other one where you just put the two tabs together at the end, I'm going to curl it it on itself and keep it as a spiral so this one this taller one is the one that you want in the middle okay so i'm going to start there because that's the very beginning and it's a very good place to start thanks julie andrews for telling me that um i won't do the rest of it scarred you're already scarred for life because of that okay and again i'm not gonna glue that with hot glue gun because that's just asking for trouble so i'm gonna a little bit of wet glue on there if we can get it to come out hello come on come on glue glue can do it you can do it glue can do it oh come on there we go i'm pressing so hard i thought it was just go but it didn't Boof is a technical term by the way so now I'm going to let go of those bits in the middle and I'm going to grab it on the outside and just hold it while it sticks. So there we go. So that's got that that middle taller stamen on the on the middle bit. The best thing about these lilies are they don't make a mess of your clothes. Now you can colour these in and and if I'm going to do that, I will just colour it in with whatever yellows I've got available. Because it's not really the... This is orange, I think. And you kind of want it to have a bit of a mottly look. Because if you look at the, the inner bit of a lily, it's made up of lots and lots of nasty staining pollen. So I'm just giving it a bit of a colour. And you're just making it look... A bit random 
So really, I probably should have done this flat, but I haven't. I'm just going to give it a bit of colour to it. I have to say, it doesn't have to look perfect because... I'm going to pull out of there because it's got to look like it's got pollen all over it. So give it a good both sides. Definitely should have done it without without having rolled it up first though, but there we go. But it adds to the randomness of it, so it's fine. See, nobody knows what should and shouldn't what something should and shouldn't look like. So Nobody knows whether you made a mistake, so don't worry about any mistakes that you make because I bet you, I bet your bottom dollar they won't, no, won't even notice. Okay, so look at those; they look all right, don't they? And they were done without the aid of a safety net. Okay, so next thing to do is wipe down your surface, get this a bit clean because what you don't want to be doing is if you've got you've been tea dyeing or something like that, you're going to have like a mess on your on your mat so just give it a, a bit of a clean before you do anything else because you don't want to contaminate the colour that you're going to use so he would like to do this if he can get his trolley his, my wheels have got a stuck on something okay got some stuck on something else now so I'm just going to give this a there's a mark up there and I don't know what that is I don't want that to come off I don't think it will be fair that's a bit of gesso don't think that's going to come off okay so so now we need to um now we've cleaned the mat a bit we're going to use some watercolor pen markers now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix it off to one side so this is the other reason for the glue gun being off for a minute because i'm going to mix on this area here okay can't get rid of those bits of uh, I think that's vintage photo or oh no it was I think it was rusty hinge that I was using last okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the colors that we want so we're not they're not yellows because the we're going for pinks okay um, so I've got a few pinks here so we've got hot pink red violet rose pink wildflower okay so what i think i might do is i might try the hot pink and the the rose rose pink i don't think i've seen many roses that color but there we go and i'm just going to color a bit on my mat sorry it gets a bit squeaky and I use the brushy end of it definitely not seeing a rose that color a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Get me? Quoting Shakespeare. Um, that's all I know. <laughs> so this is a water brush. Now you know how when I normally use a water brush I use to do napkins, I use one of these which has got a ball. Not a ball, it's got a, a, a hard marker end. This has got a brush end. Okay, so you can see it's stained pink because I've been doing pink things today so I'm just going to squeeze a bit of water in and I'm going to mix those together and I want this to be fairly watery to go on here and the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to get these wet okay and you think why am I making these wet so I'll tell you all of that in a second let's just dry it off um get my thing so I'm, I'm made them wet and now I'm going to make them dry and you're thinking well that was a waste of time Dave <laughs> Well, it wasn't, because what you've do, done is you've left the paper a bit damp. You don't want it to completely dry it, okay? You also don't want it to be completely stuck to the mat either, okay? You want it to be a bit a bit wet, so that when you put this colour in, colour on, it bleeds a bit. 
Now this is why these these are never the same. Okay, so you pick the one that you want to do and then you're going to put a line on it. And you can make it look as natural as you like or as unnatural as you like or and I'm just literally painting a middle bit on it. I'm not worrying about how perfect it is because there is no such thing as perfection in nature. It's us that strive for, for perfection, nature doesn't. Nature is quite happy with the way it, it turns out. Okay. So the reason for making it wet is you don't get such a hard edge, you, it will start to bleed a bit and I'll show you in a minute when we make it even wetter. Okay, like I say, don't worry if it's like doesn't look match the other petals, it's absolutely fine. So now I'm going to add a bit of water into this so by squeezing my pen. Add a bit of water and just take it to the end edges a bit. Okay. And you're just encouraging it to kind of just do its own thing now. You know, it'll be it's gonna be what it is. It's gonna be what it wants to be. Not what you want it to. It's good to look let go of the control a bit. Okay. And I always try to do them in pairs. Now that one is looking a little bit more pale, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dab it off a bit. And I'm just going to add a bit more colour down the middle. So the, the the what I try to aim for is that the three look similar. I mean, like the you know the set of three look similar. I don't. I'm not expecting them to look the same, like I've just said to you, but to look a little bit similar. So I'm going to do the same with this. Just kind of soften that edge. Okay. That's fine. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. Now this one has dried off now. Okay, I'm just going to take some of that off so it's not too wet. Okay, and I'm going to wet this one. Okay, so again, don't over wet it. Take a bit off. Okay, that's fine. Make sure that your cloth that you're using is fairly clean, otherwise you'll end up with dirty marks all over it um, and then you're going to do a similar thing with this one and then you'll find that because you've been dipping water back into the into the color that you've had this will start to look a bit more subdued it'll be a lighter color that you're putting on than it was the first time that you did it but that's absolutely fine If you need to turn it round, turn it round. Like I say, I'm not terribly fussed. It's the I'm not a hand. I don't do hand painting. I'm not an artist. I am. I'm not. An, let's say I'm not an artist. I'm. I, I realise I'm an artist. I realise I'm a a craft artist, but I'm not a painter. I'm not. What's his name? Who, who painted the Hay, Hay Wayne? What's his name? Constable. So <laughs> he came up in a crossword quiz at the weekend. That's why I mentioned him. So you see how it feathers, um, and that's fine. That the feathering is just gives it that more natural look. You can go back in and put a bit more colour on something if you want the middle bit to look a bit darker, which I'm going to here. Okay, I'm going to then just take this colour, let's wipe that bit up because I don't need that now. I just want to take the colour out of the tip of my brush now. Okay, and I just want to add a bit of water around the edge just to encourage that bleeding again. And this is what I do. You know, you're probably a better artist than I am, painting artist than I am, but I... This is, what, this is what I do. 
okay so um so that's the that's those bits all i'm going to do now is i'm going to dab it off okay and then i know that these two don't match perfectly but show me a flower where all the petals match so okay let's just pick that up again okay now what i want to do is i want to dry it a little bit i don't want it to be, go completely dry but i want to dry it a little bit so i'm just going to use my hot gun and because i'm not worrying about it being completely dry i'm not putting it on something to soak up moisture i'm just drying it off a little bit yeah that's they they're just damp okay so now this is the bit where you can then go in with a color okay sorry uh, you're going to do some dotty things on it so let's have a look at what color this is okay that's fine so i'm just going to put some colored dots just the way a tiger lily has those little dots I struggle with doing random so like I'm I, I'm trying to do random as random as I can do but it doesn't so there we go Just dabbing those. Just it here, Worcester whining a minute ago. That's why my brain was kind of just gone somewhere else, thinking like he was kind of whining like he was in pain. But Uncle Brian's downstairs, so um, he needs his toenails clipping. I bought a a device for doing them, like they, like a grinder, and he keeps catching them on the carpet. And I think he gets un it gets uncomfortable for him um, when he gets his nail caught. So. So I'm not worried because, like I say, Brian's downstairs, so I'm, I'm happy. So there you go. So there's the there's those. Okay. You can make them bleed a little by making them wet again. So you can make, you can soften those. You see how that's, it's starting to make that, that bleed a bit. And that just, again, makes it look a little bit more natural. Okay. So this one can dab off now because that's, that one's bled. Okay. This one still got a little bit of movement to go there you go that's fine I'm, I'm happy with the movement and it just softens those edges so they don't look like perfect little it doesn't look like so much like somebody's made dots on it it looks more natural okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get a paper towel or something um i'm just going to lift no not with that though lift things up for a minute put them over there I'll wipe this down so it's dry so this doesn't wet the paper towel as well okay and then i'm going to put the paper towel there i'm going to put these on top okay and then i'm going to dry them not with the glue gun dave because it doesn't dry oh i'm going to plug the glue gun back in there we go so that that's ready to rock and roll in a minute so I'm using this, so the reason why they're on the paper towel is because that's somewhere for the moisture to go. And they'll curl up, don't worry about them curling up, you're going to shape them anyway in a minute, so it doesn't really make any difference. So I'm just going to do these, flip it over. Can't wait to go and see my mum again. Oh, and I really, oh, um, oh thank you very much to to everybody that's, that's bought me a coffee. Um, so uh sheila edwards joyce armor um patricia white so trisha white um and maureen hooper you've all um bought me a coffee on buy me a coffee um my link is in the description in case anybody's wondering um <laughs> uh, i'm going to buy a um you know i don't have a lot of money so i've already explained this so i'm going to use the money to buy a 
a table condenser mic so that when Brian is here, we can both talk and you can hear us both. So um, it just adds, so that, because otherwise Brian, I end up relaying what Brian's saying and it's like a bit like a, um, a bit like he's my puppet. So <laughs> like I'm doing ventriloquism. So. so I'm just bending in that little tab. These are dry now, so I can move the, that out of the way. And then I'm just going to curl them around and I'm just going to glue them together first. So let's just make sure this is coming out. Yeah, that's fine. And glue that tab there. And then, like I, like I always do, drag it back from the flower so that it doesn't. I don't get glue out all over the flower. Ow, really hot. Where's my... It's here. Should have got your act together a bit first day but there we go got my act together now would have been better to get your act together before everything dried though Dave okay so just squeeze that down like I say any anything that squeezes out just squeeze it over the top and kind of just locking that in that tab in there you go that's one do the same for this one just drag it back In there, put that over the top, get that bit of glue, just flip that over the top of there, and that just locks that all in nicely. Okay, so yeah, that's in nicely. Okay, so that's your two, your two petals. This one's going to be the outer one. Okay, or just because I picked it, and it, it could be you, but it's not you, it's this one. Um, I'm just going to curl these out like that. There you go. They're all curled out nicely, and then you're going to curl these ones out. So these don't—they don't get any special treatment. They just literally do. Unlike the the other flower, the daffodil, these are just getting curled, getting curled out like that, and then they're going to sit in just like that, like a windmill, um, and Again, before I do that, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to get glue my stick in. Okay, so this has got a point on it, one end. So rather than having the point sticking out, I'm going to colour this bit in. Um, so I don't have the point on the so that it really gets harpooned with the the flower. Okay, um, and then that way, then the point can go on the inside. That's my outer flower, so I'm going to glue this to my outer flower, I'm going to, and it sits in just nicely like that. Yeah, so I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue in there. I always say a tiny bit, and then end up like getting a gallon in there, or a litre. So I'm going to put that in there. blowing on it it does work um it's just not as effective as a as an air gun an air gun yeah no an air a can of air and i'm gonna i'm gonna put those that sit that over like that and because it's a triangle going into a triangle you don't want it to go snug in you want it to go it's going to be it feel it'll feel awkward to put in there because of the way it sits so what you're going to do is you put it on each one of the points each one of the points will stick to one of each one of the flat bits on the other one. You don't want point to point. Okay, that in there. Get rid of the, the strand of hair that you get free. Stick that in there. Straighten it up before you it completely sets, and then just hold on to it on the three sides. And just hold it until it's kind of dry. Well, not dry, set a little bit. You don't, it doesn't have to be completely gone off, but there we go, like that. And then you're going to get your middle bit. See, look how I'm attached by those little strandy bits. And so then we're going to put that in the middle, okay? And it'll look too big, but don't worry. It's absolutely fine that you want it to kind of stick out. 
think about the stamens inside a real lily, they do kind of stand perpendicular to the to the flower. So stick it in like that. Give it a blow. Blow and go. And then what you don't what you want to do is you want to leave the middle one standing up fairly straight and then these are the ones they can kind of just bend out and they can be a bit they can bend them out a bit more than you would do in the um the daffodil because they look a, it looks a bit more natural if they're all a bit more random okay Like that. So there you go. So that's the that's the lily. So the only thing that leaves us to do is get some leaves on. Leaves us to do. I didn't mean. I honestly didn't mean that. But we'll put some leaves on now. It will leave us to do. Um. So all of these lilies now need to all have a a leaf put onto them. So I did cut some leaves out. Now I did, like I said, I freehand cut these, um, because. I couldn't find a shape that I liked, so um, I think they've all fallen on the floor. That's the problem. Um, so, and and on this one, the middle bit, centre line, just follows the arc of one of the edges. So, and the way I did that is I just literally went down it with my finger, following the arc of the triumph, arc de triumph. No, not that one. Um, although it is a triumph when you've finished, so there you go. Just fold it. You don't want to make a, a firm crease in it. Again, like a, a lily would be. It's kind of got those. It's it's more kind of bent in the middle. Steady. Um, it's that it's that shape you go you're after. Okay. These aren't all the same because they're free hand cut, so because it's natural, that's why they're not all the same. Because it's natural. That's what happens. Nature makes them that way. That's why. <laughs> and we're sticking to that answer. So again, just going all the way down. Just guiding. If you're not really folding it, you're guiding it. You're guiding a bend on it. So, um, and we're going to do this one as well. I think that's enough petal uh, leaves for the number of flowers we've got. You're only giving it a suggestion of a leaf anyway. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that to the the stem like that. Okay. Um, and I'll put a little bit of hot glue there, stick that to the stem, yeah, and you might want to get something to hold it in place while you're moving on to the next one, so you don't have to just sit there with your, your things, what they're called. What are they called? Not things. They're not just called things, are they? Um, Tweezers. That's the one, Dave. Got there eventually. Sorry. This, you know. I got there eventually, at least. So again, I'll just clip those. I do have more um, pegs. Goodness only knows where they are, but I do have more pegs. There we go. That should be able to come off now. Yeah, that's fine. Stick these on. And I like the fact that they are hand cut because then that doesn't make them the same, does it? So nobody could accuse me of being samey with my hand cutting because it's definitely not. You're lucky that it, it looks similar, to be fair. Sorry, I was just scooping out a blob of glue there. This one. Like that, I think, on that one. So that's going to hug that stem a bit better more. So that's going to go down the middle bit. Put that 
on there. Burning my fingers, burning my fingers. The burning my fingers song. There we go. Covered in bits of glue. I'm like Rapun oh no, Dave, don't put glue on it until you know where you're putting it. Um I feel like Rapunzel, I could let down my long strands of glue hair. Glue hair. I have glue hair. You there, I have glue hair. Bohoho. <laughs> I'm so hot. I'm so hot. I know you're all thinking, I know. Well, we've seen you now. We know what you look like. You are all hot. <laughs> Said no one. Ever. <laughs> don't have to be hot to be a crafter, do we? we? We're fantastic as we are. We don't need... Nobody... Nobody judges us in the crafting community. We're all beautiful. Well, we're beautiful and scarred by all the burns and the cuts and things that we've got. But there you go. Beautifully scarred, obviously. There we go. That's those. So we've got nice little... I'll, I'll get rid of all of the little strandy bits off them shortly so don't call me shortly um who are you calling short lee i'll get, I'll get the what the bits that i can see off now there you go that's those yep that's another one there that's those together i'll take lots of shots and pictures of these i might put them on my instagram um and i did cut more out um for the for the daffodils this time i'm not going to put a um i'm not going to put a crease in it and i'm not going to um use the whole thing i'm literally going to stick a couple to the back like this so that they look like there are a couple of stems that go all the way down but they don't i'm going to stick those two bits together first Glue those two together. I'm going to glue those onto there. And I'm just going to glue that bit at the back. Actually, I'm going to glue it over that bit. Uh, I'm going to glue it over the bit where the um, join is. You won't see it as much. Well, you won't see it at all, but you won't. There you go. That's those. Again. Get these, just chop it off. Or as near as damn it. Gonna stick two together. They can be all nice and random. Oh, that's really hot. <laughs> that's really hot. Again. Oh, the joins at the bottom this time, so I don't have to worry about the join. Um, it can be, you can put it however you like. I'm going to have it like that, I think, this time. A little bit across there. Oh, I think it ended up being in the same place. Oh no, it's the other side this time. <laughs> Just be careful when you're squeezing it that you don't undo all of the hard work. So we'll do all of these and then we'll we'll be done. So a bit of glue together. Put that on there. A bit of glue on there. Is he okay? Uncle Brian's up here, so like I've just asked him if if Worcester's okay. Is he okay? I heard him squeal. So did he catch his claw again? In my shoe left. Oh, well, he caught his, shoe, his, his, paw, his claw on his shoelace. So, but like I say, we've got the machine now to trim his nails. So, um, although they, when his nails are trimmed, they still they still got quite long nails. So, um, it's really hard to know where to cut them on a dog. But he, the thing is, we can't take him to a groomer. 
because he doesn't like other dogs and so far I've not found a groomer that can assure me that there won't be any other dogs there so um, so we can't go um, I could do with somebody like a mobile one um, a mobile one um, you know like a, somebody that comes out in a in a van it could have his, it could be washed then as well and it could be hosed down <laughs> not I wouldn't hose him down I don't need that um, <laughs> he could have a good wash he needs a good wash stinky boy <laughs> stinky boy that it, I'm not talking about Brian by the way <laughs> Just to clarify, <laughs> he could be host down. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm laughing. He'll be like, "What were you laughing about?" <laughs> I probably thinks that he's the butt of the some of some joke anyway. So, which he is. So we we know that, don't we? I mean, it's completely up to you where you stick these, and whether you stick these on at all, some people don't even bother. So, I just like it to be realish. There you go. I think we've just got one to go now. Just put. Don't, don't tidy up, Dave, and put your scissors away before you've even you've finished with them. those together and then stick that to oh my stomach's going arr, arr, I've eaten it's I don't even know what time it is it's quarter past ten at night there we go put that on them on there put a blob of glue on the back stick it stick it to there Go. That's cool. Cool. Brilliant. Cool. 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 A lot of cool. They are cool. That's why. Right. Glue gun. Put your glue gun in the upright position. Um, no smoking on landing. Um, right. I've got a little special hook that it, hang, it hangs on from the stand when it's cooling down. Okay. So, let's get rid of that. Let's bring these back in. So these are what we've done. Well, we didn't do them all, obviously. Um, we did. Which one was it? Did we do? Oh, oh, it's there. That's the one we did. That's the, that one. Um, was it that one? Um, 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 uh, might have been that one. I don't know. One of them. <laughs> Can't remember, and uh, got no chance of finding the which one of the um, daffodils it was because they all look the same. So there we go. So that's what we've made today. So well, I hope you enjoyed that. So I it wasn't really a tutorial because it was just me having a, a play, but I'm telling you what I do when I do it. So um, I'm going to go and tidy up now, which is a rarity, um, and I'm back to work tomorrow. So I'll try and get this uploaded. Maybe tonight um, and I'll try and get another one done this week uh, Maureen by the way still haven't just if you're watching uh, I haven't posted your thing yet um, I will get it posted uh, sometime this week as soon as I possibly can I will get it posted to you but it is it is being kept safe don't worry about it but thanks very much Maureen well done congratulations again on winning that um, and I'll be doing, uh, you know, I've already selected out what I might, what I might do for my 750 subscribers. So I'll be doing a draw when I'm get. I'll, I'll tell you more about it when I get there. I'm like, I, I'm at 550 though now. I haven't. What? I have no. Haven't you guys got anything better to do? No, please don't go away. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'll be back for another crafty video, um, and. I'll see you all very soon. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Dash of Day. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. Uh, and as I say, um, I love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to, otherwise I'll set me mother on you. So um, 
well, as you can tell from my video of me and my mother, she's too too much of a nicer lady, so it's hardly a threat, that, is it? All right, you, you guys, mwah, 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 lots of love, lots of crafty hugs, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, folks. Enjoy. Go and make flowers. Spread beauty and kindness wherever you go. Bye.